Hey guys, what is up? It is my third game maker tutorial here, and um, today we are going to be getting rid of that choppy four direction movement and going with the eight direction. A um, lot better movement, I'd say. Um, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go into your player and delete everything that has to do with the keyboard. So you remember how you had like the keyboard right and stuff? Just right click, delete it. Because we don't need it. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to do add event step, step event. And we are going to add code. Now this is a little bit more advanced. Um, I used to stick with the forward direction a lot until I figured out how to do this. Um which made things a lot more smoother and your games a lot better. So in the step event we are going to be adding some code if keyboard check VK up. So this is if you are pressing the up key on your keyboard. Um that the and symbol twice place free x dash y minus 5 um y equals no y minus equal 5 okay so we're going to copy this paste it four times and I'm going to explain to you what um all this means here um in a second so uh, for your second one, if keyboard check VK down, uh, place free X uh, plus 5, and we're going to do X plus equals 5. Um, your next one, VK right, place free um, plus 5. x plus equals 5 vk left place free minus 5 for x and we're going to do x equals x minus equals 5 and I, I messed up here vk down I don't know what I was thinking here it's actually for the y it's plus 5 so my bad, I'm sorry guys. Plus equals five. So um that just gives you all of the movement right there with a direction. So I'll show you what this means. If keyboard check up, so this is basically saying right here, if you're pressing the up key, and so this is and if there's nothing um if there's nothing in the way, you're going to go up five pixels at a time um, minus five is up like so if it's like minus one it's up uh, just one is down um, and then the x coordinates if it's right it's got to be positive is right and negative is left so and we can and we can go ahead and get rid of this collision because we don't need that anymore so if we go ahead and test out the game here, you can see we have nice diagonal movement here. And um, it won't let you go past the wall uh, without a collision event. So that's pretty nice if you have a bunch of textures for walls and things. Um, oh yeah, and just to let you know if this is not working for you, that the wall needs to be solid so go ahead and make sure that's like that so yeah guys that's my tutorial next episode or tutorial we will be doing um coins i have to pick up coins and you get a score so uh, be sure to subscribe for that It'll probably already be up but um yeah until next time guys i'll see you later